Thursday workdays in October were always jam-packed with getting ready for fall, planting, late summer harvests, and there was always some encounter with bugs, critters. Check it out. These are the first orange tie. Got three ripening there. This one's almost ripe. I just gave these plants a shower because we have just been through the worst heat wave of the entire year and it was 100 degrees yesterday. I don't ever remember that happening. And even though these plants have no leaves whatsoever, they have a few peppers. These are the Pantelleria. They grow straight up. And as you can see, Every single plant got this. This is my very first one of these, and I thought it was California Wonder, but it's going from green to red, so I don't know what it is. This has yet to produce a ripe pepper. This is Black Finger. Every time I think, well, this one's coming out for sure, then I see something like this. And you hate to let your babies go if there's some life left in them. This is sweet apple, and these are really wonderful peppers, but it didn't produce very much. This is sun scald. Couldn't take the heat. That plant is done. Now this plant put out a bunch of new leaves, and since the leaf miner has come and gone, I will save this plant. This plant will not be saved. Aleppo. This plant looked like death night before last. This is before it was 100 yesterday. I came out, every leaf was limp, and some were just dried up because it's in a small pot. It should have been put in the ground two weeks ago, but it didn't because I don't know where to put it because I don't want to kill it. I gave it a seaweed foliar spray and a watering, and it was just in time. It was on the brink of death. That's another thing we'll be doing on Thursday workday tomorrow, is putting this somewhere in the ground. This is volunteer red stem Malabar spinach, and it's wound itself around several peppers. If you want to grow something that's worry-free, grow this stuff. It's very nutritious too, but it needs something to climb on, big time and it had no trouble in the heat. It's a succulent. This is what you call bad timing. Just when the Mexican pink guava was ready to deliver its first real harvest, we have a heat wave culminating in a 100 degree day yesterday. Now I was out here last night picking up guavas and look how many are on the ground just overnight and most of these are not going to be good. According to Renee, this is too far gone, but this is just right. Still hard, but... Well, that's the other guava. So I'm picking up the ones that I think might still be usable. That's a female. She's laying eggs. Now she's supping nectar. You see her proboscis is deep into that flower. There are the two antennas and then there's the proboscis sticking straight into the flower. Now her wings look a little ratty so she's probably older.
Monarchs know that my garden is a very safe, welcoming place. This is the pineapple guava, so you see the comparison in the size. Oh, they smell so fragrant. Wow. There's a few left on the tree. There's one. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. They smell wonderful, but the texture is kind of odd. It almost has like seeds inside it. It's very different from the pineapple guava. Here's my upper driveway collection of pots. I've got basil, which really took a beating in the heat, and ee toy onions, which love the heat. One of my goji berries, trying to get, get everything in the sun here. Now these peanuts love the heat. This is a Tennessee Red Valencia peanut. This is a volunteer four o'clock. But these are really happy in this heat wave. These are late starts, these two. The other two I started much earlier. It's the beauty of these cloth pots with handles. You can just drag them around and find the sun. These two I started much earlier and they don't look a whole lot better than these two because they just didn't get any sun and any heat this summer. Gorgeous. This is a Listadia de Gandia. This particular plant has really been productive. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. Sometimes you really hit it out of the park. Now, I just happened to plant this in a good spot. I think that's got about 50% to do with everything. Look at the size of this thing. And it's still blooming, of course. It loves the heat. This squash is going nuts. Look at these huge leaves it's putting out at the end of October. Now, this one vine has no mildew yet, but this other vine is absolutely covered. This so far is my only pumpkin off of this whole massive plant. So I don't know if I'm gonna get another one. It's the end of October. That looks like about eight pounds, six or eight pounds. My passion fruit is doing really well in the heat. I've never had one before, I've never eaten one. This one is turning from green to kind of a gray color, so I know it's starting to ripen. Very light. Here's one, here's two, three. This cranberry hibiscus decided to shoot up and now it's about 10 feet tall, this one shoot. So that's gonna get chopped back tomorrow because it cannot compete with the olive tree. This is the back of my Meyer lemon tree leaf. There's an ant working this. I've never quite seen it look like this. So I'm not sure if this is mealybug or what, but it's not good, whatever it is. So this is a grasshopper that's cutting the leaf and eating it. Chomping away. Last meal. Yeah, you heard me. Enjoy it. I think this is dog turd fungus. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Please give me that like and share this channel with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.